Hello all, this is Santosh and uh, welcome to Tech Design. So I'm going to start a mechanical routing application videos. So I have already created a playlist called mechanical routing in our uh, YouTube channel. I'm going to add all the, you know, future uh, mechanical routing videos into particular uh, playlist so that you can watch it whenever it is required for you. So in this uh, video, I'm going to cover three topics that is, uh, you know, introduction about this mechanical routing and what are the advantages of of, um, you know using this mechanical routing and then uh, we are going to talk about how uh, you know what are the basic procedure uh, that we need to follow when we are working on mechanical routing assembly so now you can see here I have shared a slide here so which will give an introduction you can see mechanical routing application is used to create a piping tubing raceways and um, HVAC steel works handrails um, and it is not restricted to particular you know uh, industry uh, it is also user defined so whenever in case if you are uh, uh, you know um, the piping or routing is required in a linear path then uh, then also you can able to use this particular mechanical routing creating path is a very most important functionality and uh, is the center line of this particular uh, routing uh, application and then you can apply the stock for that particular you know paths uh, depending on your industry and then make a use of this particular stocks in order to produce the drawings in a quick and efficient manner so this is a uh, you know, little bit basics about um, you know mechanical routing so next we are going to uh, check what are the advantages of uh, routing applications so you can use the reuse a library to store common parts so now you can see here so whenever we are into a mechanical routing of assembly there are some standard components will be available uh, elbows t's and other uh, you know um, whatever the standard parts you can save them in a library and whenever it is required you can um, use the library uh, to make your uh, model and also qualified part contains internal parameters and attribution to you know ensure certain characteristics are enforced so some there are some you know uh, standard parts which are you know having all the parameters that are already predefined so qualified parts are already predefined you know parts though whenever you are importing a mechanical um, standard parts into an assembly so nx is able to understand the characteristic and how it behaves um, in the assembly okay and also you can see the utilization of design rules to find uh, violations so uh, whenever you are doing any mechanical routing there will be some rules say for example uh, when it comes to sheet metal uh, whenever you are giving any bend to particular sheet metal there should be a minimum bend radius that should be maintained so otherwise uh, there will be a stress concentration will be developed and uh, there is a chances of uh, you know breaking of sheet metal bracket so in the same way uh, here as well when the you know linear paths are created there should be a bend which need to be created for that bend uh, there will be uh, you know minimum criteria that need to be matched so those are called as design rules uh, suppose if there is any uh, rules is being violated violated so in that case you can able to uh, make a use of this uh, mechanical routing so now we come into a mechanical routing uh, you know procedure how we can uh, follow the procedure in order to create an assembly so you can see here uh, the first step will be position appropriate components in assembly as possible such as tanks pumps and motors so these are the you know in general you know common parts so you can see here these are the we can say these are the components that need to be uh, properly positioned so this is the first step that we need to do in uh, mechanical routing so the next step will be uh, positioning the all the standard routing parts so you can see here these are the t's and walls there may be walls and elbows so all these components components will should be you know properly positioned so the first step is uh, the component should be positioned and the second step is the standard routing parts should be positioned so and then once the uh, you know those two components are you know properly positioned then you can able to create a linear path you can see here this is the routing path or linear path uh, which is used to provide a stock so these uh, paths should be created between the components and between the standard parts okay and the next one is uh, suppose in case if you want to edit the path uh, if it is not good then you want to edit a path or if any um, as i said you design rule violations are uh, you know coming up so in that case you need to edit the path so you can just edit the path and then finally you can apply the stock for that particular uh, 
linear path so this is going to be an uh, you know overview on a mechanical routing application guys so in future i'm going to explain it to you how uh, you know mechanical routing assembly commands works so we can we are going to discuss on the commands each and every command and meanwhile we are going to take some projects so hope you enjoyed this tutorial please stay tuned and uh, subscribe to my channel thank you guys